Hi, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to um, we're going to rehouse one of our Sailies, the Tiger Wandering Spider, the Cupianius Sailie. There she is, a bit difficult to see her. Now, I have been a little bit reluctant to do this because these have been raised from a sling about the size of a bleeding fruit fly. And I've, I've done this before, I've raised them before, got them up to sort of this sort of size. And then when I move them over to larger enclosures, I lose them in molts, which apparently is like quite a common thing. But it's obviously something that's really starting to frustrate me. So I need to get to grips with this. So what we're going to do, these guys are in what were originally fruit fly, uh, fruit fly, fruit fly um, pots. And then all I do is I, I just clean them out and, uh, and I kept my little slings in these. And uh, now they're huge, great big things. You can see there, she is a whopper. Absolutely massive. Get a nice sort of like silhouette of her. And uh, yeah, I mean, you often hear us talk in the past about um, airflow and the importance of airflow. These guys have got none. There is no ventilation in this pot whatsoever, apart from this little bit of um, sponge, which is what I remove so I can put water in here and feed her. Because these are incredibly fast. And I mean really, really fast. So... And we don't want to get a nip off one either. So I'm not actually sure, temperament wise, they're very, very quick, but I wouldn't like to say that that quickness is aggressiveness. We're gonna find out. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, what we're gonna do is we are gonna set up one of these Komodo tanks. And as you can see, that's a massive upgrade. She ain't gonna know what the bleed nails hit her once she gets in there, I'm sure. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put a plant in there. We're going to put some of our beastie substrate in with a little bit of um, soil as well, and then hopefully, because of the the room, the way I keep this room, it's quite humid in here anyway. So I'm hoping that it's going to be enough. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a little bit. I've already got me a bit of bark. Quite fancy that bit of bark. These guys do like to hang out on the bark. We've got some nice fresh substrate here. You'll see that this is very damp already. Whop a bit of that in there behind there. Just in there. Put a bit of peat in there. This has got a little bit of vermiculite in it as well. Um, this is as much for the plant as it is for anything else, to be fair. And what we're going to do now, although this girl doesn't require a deep substrate. We're actually going to put quite a bit in here because this will help and aid in the humidity. Just stick a little bit of stuff in the back there. Again, this will just help help with that. You might choose to actually sit behind there, which isn't a problem, we don't mind. What we're going to do, we're going to put a plant in here. We've got some nice, we've got a nice little array of plants here. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go with this one because this is a, this is a nice ferny looking thing. And these sailies, to me, they always look a little bit prehistoric. I think they I think they've got an awesome look about them. So we're gonna put this in here like that. We don't really need to label. Put that in there like so. Like I think my 
I'll put another helping hand with the humidity is we're going to put a little bit of moss in there. Have a little look at it first. See if that won't work. There you go, you have a moss in there, won't it? in there like so again the moss will help in maintaining the humidity within the tank don't forget these particular tanks have just got mesh lids so we'll lose quite a bit of humidity through that so we'll do that our little plant this will give her a little bit of security what we're going to do is we're going to put another little branch in here. How are we going to do this? I'll take this off here. This is where I get all messy now and make a make a mess everywhere. We stick out a foot. Right. You'll also know with these guys is they actually like to molt hanging up. So I'll put a little branch in there. I'll just give us somewhere to hang to if needs be. She might not use it. She might. We'll see. How's that look? I give her plenty of places to hide and do her thing. We can uh, put a little bit of that on there. There we go. Makes it all look a bit a bit pretty. Now the fun bit. Now when you've got a particularly fast spider like this, first thing to remember is make sure your lid fits. So we're just gonna try that. Yep, yeah, that's in there, that's fine. Last thing we want to be doing is fighting with a lid when our spider's doing the off. What we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to have our faithful paintbrush, and we're also going to play safe because, like we say, this is a fast spider. So remember, get yourself prepared. Got a nice tank here. We're going to put a tank within a tank, like so. These guys are prone to jumping and just basically teleporting. So let's see how we go, shall we? Right. Now then, I'm going to try a new tact. I'm going to try and feed her in the box. Hopefully she'll take it. She did actually only feed a couple of days ago, so she might not be hungry. But we're going to try and feed her and, and see if we can't take her mind off 
while having a bit of food. Oh, she's up there ready. Look at that. Can you see that? That's it. She's got it. She's took it. Now then, the plan is, I've not done this before, guys, so we'll, um, we'll see what happens. Bear in mind, we don't, we don't want to get a nip. We've got enough light here. Right, I'll take the lid off. We are completely off now. And what I want to do, excuse my fingers. As you can see, she is still holding onto the roach. What we're going to try and do is we are going to try and get her to walk out onto the branch nice and gently. Nice and gently. These are a supersonic fast spider. Now you notice because she's got the roach, she's a little preoccupied. Look at that. Here she comes. Foreign ground now. There you go, my sweetheart. Nice and gently. That's it, go on. Very gently does it. She will lay silk. There you go. And she's in, and she's still feeding. Look at that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on, and then I'm going to move the tank so that you can get a proper look. Hold on. There she is. How about that? One Cuprianus Saley out of her old home and into her new one. Now there's a nice little trick there. I've not tried that before, but it's something that happened to me um, some weeks ago now. I was actually feeding them on my desk here and uh, I was just sitting here on my own and I was feeding away. And as I took the top off, she sat there and I dropped a roach in and as the roach dropped into the bottom of the container, she flew out of the container and ended up sitting down the side here. And I was like, oh dear. It was so fast, I didn't even see it happen. And I was like, oh, hang on, I know. I'll try and feed her another one. So I got another roach and I dropped the roach in and then she climbed up the pot, went in, grabbed the roach. And I thought, oh, that made me think then. When they're occupied with their food, they don't seem to be quite so flighty and they're not so keen on doing anything else. They're really keen on their food. So um, they're very, very food orientated. So hence, that's why we had the idea today. We thought we'd feed her first 
and then we'll transport her over. If we try to move her with nothing on her mind, she's just concentrating on me, then there's a good chance she would have bolted, she would have gone anywhere. We, this could have all ended rather badly. <laughs> so uh, I am really, really chuffed with that. I'm really pleased with the new environment. I think that looks, I think that looks really cool. Really nice, I do like that a lot. And uh, we can see, you've got a lovely view of her here. She's absolutely stunning. Such a splendid spider. Let's see if we can get a bit of light on her. Oh, oh you've, I think you've got enough light to be fair. Look at that. Starting to get the adult coloration now. Absolutely gorgeous. And we can... Very difficult with a light reflection reflection on the on the glass. I think she looks marvellous. I don't know if we can get from the front here. Get on there and double up. Oh look. Is that any better? Oh that's a little bit better. And she still hasn't let go of that roach. Well, quite pleased with myself with that little idea. I think that worked really well. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to keep her in this environment, and hopefully, fingers crossed, this one will get through the molts because I really want to breed these guys. Um, and I've got I've got five others to do, so uh, <laughs> we're going to wait a little while and we're going to see how this one fares first. We'll see. You see it completely open. We'll, um, we'll see what happens. But I'm really pleased with that. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, a nice little showcase on our Sailey. Um, I want to mention actually, these guys do require the high humidity. So um, that's something to bear in mind if you're keeping them. They do like it fairly warm as well. So it's 80 degrees in here, absolutely perfect. And they have a, a massive, massive feeding response. So I don't necessarily think these are particularly aggressive, but they do have a very, very strong feeding response. And if you don't mind something with a little bit of turn of speed to it, these guys are fascinating to keep. Absolutely fascinating. So um, if you do feel yourself, you know, feel comfortable in giving one a go, I cannot recommend these enough. These, these are really fantastic spiders to, to keep. Really, really good fun. Um, so right, what we're going to do now, we're going to leave her in there and we're going to follow this and we'll see where it ends up. Hopefully, fingers crossed, all be well. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, until next time, don't forget, be calm, very important. Be calm, be gentle, you've seen you've got to be gentle, and love your spiders. I'll see you again soon, guys.